What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Giselle and I am an ultrasound technologist who loves all things Disney and lives in Las Vegas. And I'm just here to share my journey with you guys, to be a part of your guys' journeys and just spread ultrasound awareness, Disney awareness, food awareness. I mean, just live life with you guys. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys subscribe and join the family. And if you're not already a part of our Discord community, come join our Discord community because we talk about all things ultrasound, food, fitness, anything, you name it. We help you guys with study tips, resume tips. We are there for you every single day. And so if you wanna join that community, come and join us too. I am here because you guys showed me this TikTok video about sonography and it apparently has gone viral and i'm gonna react to it with you guys and we're just gonna see what is being said and we will talk about it according to my experience i mean i graduated in 2017 i have worked in over 10 different locations i have worked with radiologists cardiovascular doctors renal doctors family doctors and then i've worked in hospital settings i've worked in outpatient settings i have done pretty much any exam you could think of and we're just going to react to this video and see what he has to say about the sonography career. So with all that being said, please, you guys, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because it helps us tremendously here. We are also on the road to 3K, so I would please, please, please appreciate if you guys shared my channel with other people and, you know, just let them know, like, hey click that subscribe button because it is a huge community. It's a growing field and we are just here to be there for you guys, for each other. And I just want everyone to know that this journey is possible. You can do this. You just have to be positive and you have to have a community surrounding you, people who are cheering you on. And yeah, well, let's just get into this video because I'm just really excited to talk about it. Grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and let's get started. All right, you guys, so don't make fun of me because I do not have a TikTok, so I do have to go onto TikTok.com and I just basically put the hashtag in and I put hashtag ultrasound, and sure enough, he is the second video on here. So from just the looks of it already, it is uh, it says ultrasound tech and then it has the number 74K to 94K. Let's see what he has to say. So do you like the medical field? Do you like helping people? Consider being an ultrasound tech. For one, you're not going to spend years in school. This requires just a two-year degree, an associate's degree. It is said to be one of the lowest stress-free jobs. So what exactly does an ultrasound tech do? First, they assist doctors in determining patients' ailments. What's wrong? They use high-tech machines to view internal organs, often determine the health of the baby, as well as diagnose diseases and blood flow. This field is experiencing 12% growth. That is higher than most industries and careers. Okay, guys, <laughs> that was a pretty quick 30-second video. Yes. Yes, yes, yes to pretty much most of it, except for, I guess my one thing I want to talk about is the stress. The stress level, well, he says it's low, and I don't know where these people, are they asking all the outpatient clinic sonographers? I mean, even then, the outpatient field is very stressful too in itself, not just because of, you know, how many patients you'll get in a day, but because those patients can pretty much argue back to you they can ask you all these questions that you know you can't answer and i mean it's it's pretty stressful just like a lot of times patients have no idea about the things that we do and the things that we're allowed to say to you so i mean not bad he is definitely sharing his insight on it i'm not sure it says he's a doctor and so maybe he just wants people to know about this career and that you know you can just get an associate's degree in this career but it's not just an associate's degree you can also get a bachelor's degree and then you know you definitely should like the medical field you definitely should like helping people because you are going to be helping people and work in the medical field but with that it's a lot of stress and it's a lot of hard work and if people think that they can you know look up ultrasound and just get into a program right away that's definitely not the case 
you know, it's very difficult. It's a very difficult program. First, it's very difficult to get into that program. And then you're competing against a lot of people. You can be competing against 50, 75, sometimes 100 people, and they will only accept 15 to 20 people into the program. And that's usually per year. And, you know, there are different programs. There's general, cardiac, there's vascular. But even though there's three different types of programs, that is three different types of applications you're going to have to do if you go to a school that offers three different tracks. If you go into this field without doing your research, it will probably be kind of hard. I'm glad that he's spreading ultrasound technologist awareness too by, you know, sharing on his little TikTok and explaining that this is this is a growing field cuz yes it is. But I wish that there could be a little bit more TikToks following that saying, you know, how hard it really is to get into the program and how hard and stressful this career actually is. If you ask a sonographer, you know, is the job easy? They're going to probably say no. And if they say yes, it's because they were trained really well in their job and they were trained really well by their mentor or their teacher, their, you know, supervisor, whoever taught them how to do ultrasound, they were taught really well. And that's what I wish for every one to have is for someone to teach them ultrasound and how to treat patients and how to you know do this job well I think that if you have a great mentor and a great teacher you will be able to succeed in this field and you will think that the job is easy but let's remember where we came from we came from a really difficult program. We came from prerequisites that were probably super stressful just to you know get A's or B's in the class. We came from trying to get into the program in a pool full of so many people. We had to go through an interview. We had to beat the point system. It's a lot of hard work and dedication to get through this program and to get into this field. I mean, especially now with COVID, you know, it's hard to get clinical sites. It's hard to let students in. And I'm hoping, you know, in the future, we'll be able to take more students in and teach them well. But, you know, this field is really small just because there's not enough clinical sites to take all the students that we want. And you have to remember that this job is pretty much hands-on learning. You can learn all you want in school. You can learn all the anatomy, all the pictures. You can look at it. But the moment you get your hand on that probe and start scanning, that's going to test your skills in this field because you're going to have to know how to scan, how to find these images on a patient. And then on top of that, you have to take care of the patient, talk to the patient, calm the patient down. And then after that, you have to talk to a radiologist, a doctor, you have to talk to nurses, you have to communicate. It is all this stuff combined into one job where everyone is surprisingly saying it's easy. So, I mean, that's just my point of view on it. Take it how you want with what he's saying. Yes, you can make 74K to whatever, over 90K, over 100K. I said that in many of my videos before. But remember that every state is different. Every state pays differently. Some of the states will pay only 40K. And you need to know how much your worth is, how much the cost of living is in your city, and you need to know, you know, how much other people are getting paid around you because you don't want to drive the pay down. We honestly want to drive the pay up. We deserve so much more money that I think that we get. And because we deal with a lot of stuff that people have no idea that we deal with. And yeah, well, this guy, you know, his video is going viral. Hopefully this, my current video goes viral because I want everyone to know that it is not easy and it is pretty stressful, especially if you work in a hospital. Very, very high stress. And if you have never seen anything about hospital sonography at all, go ahead and watch any of my other day in the life videos because I take you guys to work with me and I explain my exams and what I do. And you'll see that we do a lot more things than people actually think we do. We don't just scan babies. I also have another video that's called the truth about sonography. And you can definitely check that out too to see some of the real things that we have to deal with. But with that being said, I appreciate you guys sitting here and listening to me talk and rant about this TikTok viral video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below and come join our Discord community so you can talk to us on the daily. As always, stay kind to one another, be safe, stay positive, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!